In the following video of the Pillows Company, we would like to show you the correct way of changing the saw blade on our machines. This video doesn't replace the instruction manual in any way, it only serves as a visual support. All work on the machine must be carried out using the appropriate protective clothing specified in the instruction manual. Remove the saw blade covers and open the arm back cover. Loosen the tensioning star nut to release the tension of the saw blade. Secure the blade with your other hand to prevent possible injury. Carefully remove the blade from the wheels. The new saw blade is covered by a protective sleeve for safe installation. The teeth inclination of the saw blade must be pointing towards the electric drive. The saw blade size label can serve as a visual guide. If the saw blade is misaligned, reverse it as shown in the video. First, insert the new saw blade including its protective sleeve in the guiding heads and then put it on the wheels. Hold the saw blade with your hand, pre-tighten the blade with a tensioning star nut so that the blade cannot slip off. Make sure the blade is properly fixed in both guiding blocks and stays on the wheels. Remove the protective sleeve, close and put back all blade covers. Tighten the saw blade to the level recommended in the instruction manual. Run the saw blade at the lowest speed so that it makes 1-2 to two spins and settles into the position on the wheels. Then switch off the saw blade and visually inspect the position of the saw blade on the wheels. If the saw blade is properly tensioned, there should be a gap of 1 to 2 mm between the back of the blade and the step of the tension wheel. In case the gap is narrower or wider, it must be adjusted. Running the band onto the wheel step results in the saw blade cracking and destruction of the wheels. A wider gap will cause the blade to slip off the wheels and their gradual deformation. In both cases, incorrect blade guidance affects the perpendicularity of the cut and the lifespan of the saw blade itself. The correct gap is set while the machine is switched off and the tension of the saw blade is slightly released. Using an allen key, turn the wheel tension screw slightly clockwise to reduce the gap between the step and the back of the blade. To widen this gap, turn the same screw counter clockwise. Tension the saw blade and again run the blade at the lowest speed so that it makes 1 to 2 spins. Recheck the position of the blade on the wheels and if the blade is now positioned correctly, you can start cutting. Always pay attention to the running in of the saw blades. <laughs> 